Hey guys, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, today I'll be taking a look at Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, 50th Anniversary Release, um, mastered by Kevin Gray, and comparing it to a couple of other pressings that I have, including the MoFi One Step. So stay tuned for that. Um, before I get started, if you're new and haven't already, please hit like, subscribe, and notification. You'll be sure to get all the new content that comes up. So it was with great anticipation that I've been waiting for this release. Um, the other two editions that I have, the MoFi 33 and the One Step, have never really satisfied me for various reasons. Um, I just never enjoyed the album like I thought I should with these two pressings. Now, one of the, one of the things that we can kind of get out of the way right at the beginning <laughs> is MoFi's One Step. This was kind of fairly early on in the One Step series. It was before they fixed the jackets and started using super vinyl. Um, and, you know, make, mastering this on 45 kind of breaks, it really breaks up the, the flow of the album. And to me, this is crucial. Uh, no matter how nice the package is, the vinyl is, and even the mastering, um, this is a, a fatal error in, as far as I'm concerned. I just want to ch double check something. Oh no, this is, actually this is Super Vinyl. I think this was the first one. Um, and to boot, um, the record has a lot of sibilance on it. Um, a lot of the S sounds are really exaggerated and don't make for pleasant listening. Yeah, it does gain in spaciousness and all the attributes of 45, but to me, this rules this one out. And it's kind of nice to have as part of my one-step collection, but I don't find myself returning to listen to it very often. Um, the MoFi 33, compared to the one-step, um, it sounded a little, a little flat. Um, not quite as dimensional. Um, it also had a bit more sibilance than I would like. I checked my setup to make sure there was nothing wrong with the VTA or, or, or anything wrong with the stylus. I didn't find any errors. Um, I checked my reference records. Uh, everything is right on point. So I just think that these, these MoFi's, I don't know. Um, they just don't, they didn't do it for me. Uh, I feel like they're artificial sounding. And it really came into focus when I put on the new one. Kevin Gray's mastering is superb on this. It is beautiful. Let me show you this release. Um, they've done it in a nice gatefold. Really, really superb. Um, the problem is they did the inner sleeves you know, it's nice to have these great inner sleeves, but they're glossy and the texture on them makes it extremely difficult to get the record, the record back into the jacket. Um, so much so that both copies that I've gotten have had crushed corners like this. I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of bad, you know, but the second one had the same thing. Whoever was putting these together was obviously struggling to get the thing in there. And um, I, you know, once I took it out and tried to put it in once, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep them inside the gatefold, not inside the actual sleeve. So everything is now re-sleeved into MoFi sleeves. So I'm only critiquing the, the main record here. And I gotta say, I've never enjoyed this album as much as I did with this pressing. There are a couple of problems with the pressing. Uh, I think these were done by GZ. My first one was noisy. Uh, I ordered a second one through Amazon. Um, the second one is really good. Uh, it's a keeper. And 
just be aware uh, on the lookout for some noise at the end of side one. Um, mercy, mercy me. Um, there's been a couple of reports of uh, ticks um, in the last 10 or 15 seconds of the track. Personally, uh, I did hear it on the first one. This one uh, has a very, very minor amount of noise at the end, and I think it's acceptable. Um, but it, it's a shame that this wasn't pressed on uh, better vinyl at a better pressing plant. However, there are good copies out there. If your first one uh, doesn't come up to snuff, uh, don't be afraid to get try another one because there are good ones out there. Um, the, the sibilance problem that uh, plagued the other two pressings is not here. I don't know what he did. It almost sounds like a different tape or, or a remix or something. It's just, the, it's gone. It's just gone. And that was a welcome relief and made the record so much more enjoyable. The balance of instruments on this, the balance of sound um, between the sparkling percussion, the bass is not overblown like it sometimes is on the MoFi. It just sounds balanced perfectly. And I expect no less from Kevin Gray. Um, I'm a big fan of his work and I think he's done a superb job here. Uh, tonality, the instruments spot on, the, the voice, the percussion, everything is really perfect. Really, really good job. I was so surprised because many of these 50th anniversary editions are nothing special and usually quite a bit below uh, existing copies. But this one really, is, they, they went the extra mile, got Kevin Gray, he did a great job. I don't know what original master tape they got, but it's great. And overall, it was just a delightful listening experience. You know, I, 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 for years, I never really got into this album. And when I put this on and listened, I've listened straight through to the end of side two, which I usually just play the first side. And I was like, side two is even better. I mean, it sounds beautiful, just gorgeous. And I was very, very happy. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, it's a two record set. This, the second um, record has a couple of alternate versions. Um, what's going on, a stripped down version, uh, a rhythm and strings into, uh, instrumental mix, uh, just the symphony and the de demo version and the single versions, mono, of What's Going On, God Is Love, Mercy, Mercy Me, Sad Tomorrow, Inner City Blues, and Holy, Holy. So I haven't um, examined that record in detail. My main concern was um, the original album, and uh, I'm, per I'm perfectly pleased with it. I think you would be too. Um, check it out. It's a wonderful record. Um, I have a link below um, to the Amazon uh, order if you want to order it from them. But some way, get this record because you'll be very, very pleased, even if you have the one step. Until next time, this is Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day.